so we're just going to go through like five points on like how to apply to medical school and how to get in successfully um yeah so stay tuned guys hi guys welcome back to my channel it's bernie here and i've got karen with me today back by popular demand i don't know what she thinks she is but um since my last video about um deciding whether medical school was for you i decided to do like a medical hey i can't speak i decided to do like a medical series kind of like section of videos so this video is going to be about like choosing the right medical school and like getting successful admission into medical school so the first point um i wanted to go through was that um choosing the actual medical school for you not just for the like of the uni or the like of the area or the like of the location but um in terms of like planning and choosing your uni strategically so for example i know like in the uk there's only 30 universities that offer medicine actually i'm not sure as at the time when i applied it was 30 unis that um that offer medicine so i wanted to make sure and as a medical applicant you only get four medical choices um although there's five choices you can only apply to four and you have to do <laughs> and then you have to do the fifth one like uh insurance because sometimes you be getting rejections like four rejections um so they allow that just in case so you do you can go to uni if you want um so yeah you only get four choices so it's very important that you make very good four choices that you've got a good chance of getting in so the way i did that personally was to write down all the 13 universities that offer medicine in the uk and then go through them individually like went through their website and like looked at their requirements so a levels um gcsc if they were requiring gcse um i know like if you're a school leaver it's definitely gcse and a levels but as a graduate i don't know because i they didn't ask me for my gcse's really no Oh, okay. The unis. It was just my predicted IB results and UK cat for me. But then again, more. but it depends on the uni. The unis exactly. that I applied to didn't ask, but there could enough. be unis that do ask. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, just generally, um, your GCSEs, A levels, and because I done a degree, um, my degree and um, what they require me to get in that degree, and like then the entrance exams because we all know they do entrance exams. So whether it was the UK cat. BMAT or GAMSAT, I wasn't going to do a GAMSAT or do a BMAT. <laughs> I knew I was definitely doing a UK CAT um, entrance exam. So that cut down the unis I could go to. Oh, and then another one in, in terms of like extracurricular activities. So work experience, obviously, if you're applying for medicine, you have to do work experience. Like what are you going to talk about in your interview kind of thing. But um, some unis are big on it than others. So an example I know and I applied to was Kill. So after we sent off the application, they then sent off something else, sent something to us that we had to fill in this document of like the work experience we did and you had to write about it and then give like a referee, someone to tell, like give back up what you said. So yeah, when I did all those, checking those criteria, um, I think I had about less than 10 unis <laughs> that I could apply to. So it just showed me like, obviously i would have wasted a choice if i just thought okay i want to go to that place just because i like the location yeah. or just because i like that so it cut down the unis i could go to and that was a good way or good start for me to then choose what medical school and to like be successful in i'm going to talk about the sort of the second point that you need to think about um when you're applying to medical school and that's sort of how you learn as an individual um because different medical schools have different styles of teaching people mm. how to like learn things so it's kind of three basic styles or two, and then the third one is like a big two of both. So the first one is traditional learning styles or traditional like learning, which is basically like if you have a six year course, you'll have like three years of lectures and then three years of like practical learning. Yeah. Um, and that's, I think it's unis like Ox Oxford, Oxford and Cambridge. Cambridge and sort of like big old fashioned unis that kind of do that. Mm. Um, and then newer, more modern medical schools, I think, are leaning more towards problem-based learning. I don't know, it doesn't really, there's not really any style, but, like, there's also problem-based learning. And problem-based learning is where, um, you, like, work in groups, sort of, like, teamwork activities, and you're given problems, and then you go out, research them, solve them, and that's how you kind of learn the various things that you need to learn, um, over the course of your degree. Mm -hmm. Um... And then we're at the University of Aberdeen where it's kind of, we've got a bit of both, which I think is a good mixture. Like if I would definitely recommend personally, like, cause it, it obviously depends on how you learn as an individual. Like if you are very like self-sufficient and you like doing things alone, then definitely problem-based learning. If you feel like you struggle with that and you need more structure than traditional learning. And then if you feel like you like a bit of both, 
then try to find something mixed yeah. um, where you get support from the uni, but you also have space to go out and, and do, do your too research. Much. I don't know. I just felt like with the PBL, um, like she said, it's teamwork, which I said is very, very important as a medical student, as a doctor. You know, you're working in teams with everyone, not just doctors, everyone. Yeah. So that's very important. But I just felt like personally, I just wanted lectures. I felt like they don't focus enough on lectures for me. And that's why I definitely could not do PBL. So that cancelled another set of unis again <laughs> for me. So it cut that down. Maybe that I had about eight now at this time. So yeah. I was going down the list and it was a good thing because then I could then choose wisely yeah so yeah i'm gonna go through the third one the third one it's basically the interview style so every uni does a different type of interview or some don't even yeah like edinburgh they don't do it they don't do interview it's yeah stressful because <laughs> you just like, you're all on paper like they never get to meet you on your face and it's i don't like that but anyway um yeah it's a it's a case where about i was thinking about it as well not thinking about going to edinburgh i was thinking about it in terms of Personally, I just feel like you can't showcase yourself yeah. enough on paper. Yeah. I feel like you need to go there and like, you know, they see who you are generally because they could just judge you on what you've not put in your personal statement or what you've put in your personal statement. So I felt like that wasn't, mm -mm, I wasn't going to risk it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, at least I felt like even if they had seen something on my personal statement, um, and they gave me a chance to come to interview, I could like talk about it more because the personal statement, you can only write so much. Yeah. How many characters? I can't yeah. remember how many characters it was now. I think it's 4,000, but I'm not sure. Yeah, 4,000 characters. 4,000, 4,000, something. Something like that. <laughs> There's only so much you can write. So I felt like if they don't give you a chance to do an interview, how am I going to show you who I am? And how am I going to show you how much I want to do medicine? Yeah. I don't know, it works for some people, but personally, again, for me, it just wasn't. So I knew I wanted to do an interview, but then there was then that case of what type of interview. So you get the um, the standard type of interview or you get the MMI um, and the standard interview is your usual, there's three or four people on the panel and then you come in and then they just ask you questions. I think about 50 to 30 minutes and obviously if they have more questions, they'll ask you more questions. But then the other one I was talking about, the MMIs. So it's just a case what of- What does MMI even stand for? I don't even remember. Multiple- Something interview. Multiple. I think it was about nine stations and um, one rest station. So you just go through, I think there's about nine of you and one person starts at one, one person starts at two and so on. And you just move around. And in each station, there's different questions they ask you. So say for example, one station was asking about the GMC, another station was asking about teamwork. They pick a certain thing on, on your personal statement and they say, oh yeah, tell me more about this. Yeah. Which I thought was really good because yeah. then you could talk more. And, like, and then also why you specifically want to go to that uni, I think mm, a lot of them want oh, to yes, hear that. And then yes. you, you know like... The course style yeah, and how and they like, teach. If you read a lot about like that uni, once you get interview just read about how they do their courses yeah. i'm just gonna move back a bit how they do their courses and like what they do it shows that you're very interested if you get what i mean um so yeah and then there was like a role play so anyway if you guys want more about interview we can talk yeah about, it's, it's, a, whole, it's getting, a whole video it's a whole it's a whole nother video because this is getting long. the next thing that you should think about is because medical school is a lot longer than other degrees like if yeah. you think about other degrees they're only three years um and so it's not that long away from home or what you're used to but with medical school you can get degrees that are up to six years which is nearly like double what you're currently double the time, yeah. yeah what a normal degree is so you really need to think about like if you're willing to stay in that location and how far away it is from home and what you're used to um because you are going to be there for a very very long time and it's important to choose places that where you feel comfortable and you feel like you can see yourself living there for, the, for that period length of, of period of time so just think about who you are and whether like being away from home is a problem or being very far away from home is a problem and then just remembering that it's not just about necessarily uni but also like the city and what kind of life you're used to like obviously if you're used to like a country life and then you go to like london you might not enjoy that because you're not used to, or you might enjoy it if you've always wanted to live in a big city but it's just things to think about if it's something quite um that you can get used to for example aberdeen here the cold weather you should just send them like a, put like insert. Like, listen, right now, <laughs> yeah, the, what's happening with the weather, I don't understand. <laughs> like, one minute it was sunny. Actually, I don't understand why our faces are still shiny because it's, it's, it's raining. raining. <laughs> it's literally raining. Like, I, do, I, don't, I don't get it. It feels like it's so bright and sunny, but it's actually raining right now and it's quite cloudy. Fifth one, or the final one, is the, um, the type of the school. So, I know we've talked about, like, the course and how they teach. 
um but also it's important about is it a separate medical school or is it integrated with the rest of the university so um some unis they have their own separate like center or se se separate campus for medical student or like science students in general um, and then a completely different campus for other students so are you someone that will feel comfortable with just having medical students or you want to integrate with other people yeah i personally didn't have a problem with it because it's a sense whereby i thought okay i was i am living in a flat so or if you are living in halls you're gonna get to meet people and i feel like on the accommodation thing you could choose whether you can say if you want like medical, medical students, students exactly yeah. you could say whether you wanted medical students or um you wanted other students so that's another way to meet other people or even societies clubs yeah. friends of friends like just general people <laughs> it starts raining now <laughs> I'm tired, but you know what? I'm gonna get used to it because I have no choice. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for five years, so um, yeah. So those are the five points. Um, if you felt like this was helpful at any point, do give it a thumbs up so I can know to do. We can know to do more videos like this. You know, back by more popular demand. She's so I don't know what's wrong with her. She, <laughs> she feels like. I mean, I know it's a YouTube channel, but I think everyone really comes here. They to just they, they just see love me, me yeah. right? Yeah. Right, guys. If you're here because of Karen. Say go away. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. If you do have any questions or anything you want us to do, look at her, she's just looking at me lovingly. But <laughs> if you do have any questions or anything you want to add to this, <laughs> do put a comment in the comment section below and we'll have a look at it and then could do a video on that as well. Hopefully we can get the other girls so we can get their opinion and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think like interviews is definitely like its own video that will definitely yeah yeah definitely but anything else just just put it in the comment section below okay guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel do subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me um and i'll see you in my next video bye guys we apologize <laughs> in advance for like the way this lighting is just changing today's We're just not our day like literally it's just changing like it's dark right now and it just it just changed i'm i'm so new to this i don't know please if you know how to please do comment comment in the section how section. do you fix the comment lighting? in the <laughs> comment in the comment section below please help me like i can't do this <laughs> bye stop it let's get serious okay